Hi, my name is Will and welcome to the Drum Room Sessions in Auckland. Uh, today we have a band from the Waikato, namely Death Near. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Not bad. A bit sleepy? Yeah. If you guys could introduce yourselves, your name and uh, what you do in the band, that'd be great. Hi, I'm Andrew Catter. I'm the vocals and guitarist. I'm Brad Iron and I play the guitar. Adam Johnson, bass. Excellent. And who's missing today? Uh, our drummer, Luke. Luke Elliott. What happened to Luke? Is he sick? Is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, Come down he with got, the bot. He got pretty sick, so he had to pull out last minute, unfortunately. Bummer. You just released an album uh, on May the 25th called, I'm terrible with names, Second Sin. Uh, and I was wondering if you guys could tell me a little bit about that. Um, where, where was it recorded? Um, it was recorded at the Waikato Institute of Technology in Hamilton. Uh, I was known as WinTech, just at the music department there. So I'm doing a Bachelor of Music there. And I'm in my final year now, just got a few papers left to do. So I recorded it all myself in the studios there, did all the mixing as well. Um, and I got one of the tutors, Jason Long, to master it. So it's turned out pretty well. Uh, it's taken a bit of work, but it's all been worth it. So sure. I'm stoked. And the artwork itself, um, where did you get that done? Who did that for you? Oh, that was, um, that was by a fellow named uh, Horse and Nice. Um, yeah, did a, did a real. Real good job. We're, we're really happy with it. Is he local or is he from overseas? Um, well, he's, he's an Egyptian. He's an gentleman. Egyptian dude, actually. Um, but like, he's got this really strong American accent. He's he's crack up. But he, he's awesome. He's like, I I, I found him in uh, the art department of WinTech X Block, and I was looking for artwork for the album, and I was just like, man, where can I find artists? And I was like, well, I, I work in the media department at WinTech, so I'm sure I can find some artists at WinTech. So I wandered over to the um, art department, and I looked around all the different art uh, stools and just trying to find something that was appropriate. And there wasn't really anything but this, uh, this chick that was uh, just hanging out, just talking to a couple of her mates. And so I went up to her, I was like, hey, is anybody here possibly keen on doing some artwork for a heavy metal band? And she's like, oh, I know this guy, his name's Hoss. Uh, he used to be a student here, uh, but he graduated. He does some really cool stuff. You should check out his Facebook page, Hoss and his illustration and design. And um, so I was like, oh, cool, sweet. So I hit him up and he was like, yeah, man, I'd be keen as to do something like that. So I went over to him, got him pretty much contracted on to do it and we paid him and he did a fucking wicked mm. job. Mm. He did, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Because yeah. he's, 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 done, um, he's done some work for some other bands as well, isn't he? Which well, yeah. band's was again? Uh, I, I don't know which band specifically, but he's done a lot of work um, for you know his own career. And it's all on his Facebook page, but yeah, it's pretty wicked stuff. Pretty pretty epic. Well, yeah. We're lucky we found someone who just loves to draw demons and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. yeah. Is that his forte, is it? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There's got to be some cool dude who loves to draw demons, man. Yeah. <laughs> and his older brother is um, the, uh, I don't know if you've heard of, the uh, the Mad Arab, the, the beard oil dude. I haven't, no. I don't <laughs> yeah, have a beard, yeah, no, so. I was, um... <laughs> don't, uh, don't, don't yeah, look no, at beard oil too often. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, so how long did the whole thing take, to, uh, sort of start to finish? Not, not the actual songwriting, obviously, but the um, the recording process. For like, we did our two singles, "Bring of Evil" and "Wings of Death," and that was like what back in it was the beginning of last year. Was mm. the beginning well, of two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen, two thousand seventeen, man, yeah. two thousand seventeen. It took ages. Yeah, so like, that was pretty much where the recording began. Basically, the answer is we kind of recorded a bit. It took us a while to record the next bit, and then yeah, it was, it was the same very kind of thing. But probably over about a year and a half. A year and a yeah. half. Until it was very, uh, yeah. But very certainly not yeah. all in one go. Kind of thing. Yeah, it, it was it was a long, long, drawn out process. But yeah, it took probably about a year and a half in total to record the whole damn thing. But I think it came out well. I, I think you guys did well. Yeah, thanks very much. All right, so what's uh, what's actually going on at the moment? Um, you're doing something down in Hamilton, I hear, in June, is that right? Yep, well, um, essentially at the moment we're working on music videos and planning a tour for the summer. But at the moment we've got um, a kill fest coming up in Hamilton at the end of June. June 30th? Yeah, yep. June 30th. Helpful to remember the date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah. going to be at the local in Te Rapa, yeah. which apparently was, what, 13 bands? Yeah, something like 13 bands over 15 hours or something? And yeah. 
Yeah. It'll be massive. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all being hosted by Team Kill mm-hmm. and Local. So, killer ass metal show, man. If you're a metal fan, you need to come to it because it's going to be massive. There are pre sale tickets, and then sort of the closer uh, to the event you get, the, the sort of the price like slowly ramps up. I, th- I think it starts at about 20 bucks. And then it becomes twenty five, and I think doors are thirty. I yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. I think there's um there's um there's some shirts as well, some shirts being made for the event and everything. Awesome. So they'll, they'll be all available, and all the bands will have merch, and yeah, no, it should be a good one. Yeah, so bands. Hopefully, everyone can they actually fit into the venue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll be selling our CD there as well. So if you want to get a copy of the physical CD, which is always better than the digital download, then come to the show, pick it up. So you mentioned the, something about a tour over uh, over summer. Um, should we touch on that? What, what's that going to be for? Is that to promote the uh, the album itself? Essentially, yeah, it's kind of like a yeah promotional tour or a delayed release tour, but not as such. I guess releasing it in May and it's sort of sort of going into winter. Yeah, not ideal for touring, eh? It's raining no, all the really. time. It's always raining and people tend to stay indoors a lot. Yeah, so it's always it's cold and. We are planning to obviously hit Hamilton, Auckland, Tauranga. We have discussed Wellington and Palmerston North yeah, and yeah. possibly Whangarei as well. Yeah, okay. well, I heard uh, Napier and Gisborne and, you know, uh, we all come from Gisborne back in the day, so, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice to hit home turf and, yeah, at, Smash at, Palace kicks ass. So. At, at, the, at the Cabana in, uh, in Napier? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a really good venue. It's some, sometimes it's hard to get people along to your show because Napier seems to be quite clicky, but... I don't yeah, think that absolutely. made much difference for us. When we played there, there was so much smoke we couldn't even see past the stage. <laughs> it was yeah. like being in a bubble. So. What was that? Why was there so much smoke? Was it a smoke machine? Or yeah, no, the cabana has enough smoke machines to bloody fill out a stadium, man. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and to yeah. choke out your drummer. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very old school. Mm. All right, do you, do you have anything to add to the end of the interview? Yeah, shout out to all the bands that we've gigged with and to everybody who's watching this. Um, all of our mates who have supported us over the years and have helped uh, our second sin album actually become a reality as opposed to just being you know a fantasy or a concept you know shout out to everybody who helped on the actual album so Hoss, Jason Long, uh, my mate Connor McMillan who helped uh, record a couple of tracks on it and everybody who supports us on liking our Facebook page and just following us coming to our shows buying our merchandise we really appreciate you all I mean if it wasn't for all the fans you know, music and the whole scene would kind of just be <laughs> so thank you everybody you guys are great and thank you will for having yeah us. and thank you will so yeah, you're, you're last minute word for me is keep it middle so this is somebody at the, at the end of the sofa was a bit embarrassed what was, what was that about that's what happens when you go to work with your little brother <laughs> what is that like I, I should actually ask that question what's what's it like being brothers in a, in a band <laughs> can I answer this question sure a lot of time when the gigs are pretty close, I'll drive down myself, eh? Because being in a van with these two, eh, is crazy. You're constantly arguing? It's, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, you Not know, all it's, time. It's, a, it's a brotherly, it is a bit of brotherly banter, you know? What's the age difference between you? Just a couple of years, probably. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, he was born 92, I was born 94. So, 23, turning 24 in June. and You've been fighting ever since? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny it's as hell. Really, this came along. I remember like oh, when we, when long we long back when we were kids, like man. Like yeah, when we got into metal, and Metallica, and all that stuff. We both wanted to be in metal bands, but we were both like, I don't want to be in the same metal band as you. Like my metal band's gonna be way better than your metal band, and all that kind of crap. And so it's kind of funny how we just ended up being in a band together. Did you ever actually form rival bands? Uh, we we so both had high school bands. Yeah, but, we never yeah. really had a chance to do anything that <laughs> went anywhere. Yeah. So. And while we had to start working together, because the only people that we knew. There are a lot of bands, like sort of brother bands, if you will, that are, that have done very well for themselves. So yeah, I mean, you, you get your old uh, Van Halen and Pantera and yeah. Akadaka and that, as you say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even uh, that Auckland band, Caridian, there's, uh, there's, three, oh, the brothers. there's three brothers. True. Three brothers in the same band. God, imagine that. They seem to get along really well, though, so uh, I guess it's down to the brothers and not necessarily the... Uh, the blood relationship yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's all about the stuff that happens behind the lines you know it's like you know when you're on the bloody road for six hours heading to bloody wellington or some shit and the only person you have to talk to is your brother yeah, well, <laughs> certainly rivalry certainly comes out at times eh? but you know it's, it's usually solved pretty quickly mm. 
So, uh, yeah, there's not really too much of an issue there. Uh, it's all good, really. It's just part of the experience, you know. It's like, <laughs> but, hey, this counts our brother too, you know. It's like, we're all brothers in death near. It's all a big metal brotherhood. And that's what it's all about in the end. So, yeah, it's all a big we give each other shit. We take each other's shit. We fucking put up with shit. But at the end of the day, we're still fucking, you know, we're like a, a heavy metal family. Well, thanks very much for coming to see me today on this on this shitty rainy Sunday. And uh, and best luck for the uh, for the tour in summer when the weather's a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.